Bismillah, Salatu Wassalam ala Rasulullah. Now we'll be looking at the passing techniques. So starting off with the LL1 passing technique. Now for this passing techniques, we'll be given a grammar. That is a set of productions. And for this grammar, we need to check whether the given input is accepted or not. Whether this input is accepted by this grammar or not. So in the LL1 passing technique, first we'll be calculating the first and follow elements for this grammar. Now for the first and follow, you can look at look at the videos of th which I have already uploaded for the first and follow. So these are the first and follow elements for this grammar. And then now for this grammar, we need to generate a parsing table. Parsing table basically contains on the vertical side, we have all the non-terminals of the grammar that is S and A. And on this horizontal side, we have all the terminals A, open bracket, closing bracket and all. So these are the term terminals in the grammar. And then, uh, based on the first elements, we need to fill up this table. So first, we'll be looking at the first of S. First of S, ha S has opening bracket. So in the opening bracket column, we need to place this production which generates this terminal. So here we are placing the production for S which generates open bracket. So this is the production. There is only one production for S and this production is generating open an open bracket so we are writing s tends to open bracket a and close bracket and then coming to the first of a items we have a and epsilon so for a in the a column we need to write the production which generates a so a tends to small a capital a this production is generating small a so we are writing this production only in this column and then in first of a we are having epsilon so whenever we are having epsilon in the first set of elements for the LL1 parsing, here we have epsilon. So we need to now go to the follow of A. So the follow of A, con a contains a closing bracket. So in the closing bracket column, we need to add the production A tends to epsilon. So this is the mechanism for building a parsing table for the LL1 grammar. Now we need to check for the given input whether this input is accepted by this grammar or not. So for that, we need to create a parsing this is the way for checking that it has three columns first is the stack input and action whatever the input is given just append dollar to it and write it write it in the input column and the stack has a start symbol at the beginning because it, it is a top down parser ll1 is a top down parser mechanism so first we are starting with the start symbol of the grammar so here we have start symbol and now we using this passing table which we have already constructed using this passing table we need to parse the give parse the given input so now s on opening bracket we need to look for the table in the table what is the action that is to be performed when we encounter open bracket and when the stack has s so in the passing table this is the column when s has opening bracket then this is the action that is to be performed s tends to open bracket a a closing bracket so the action is s tends to open bracket a close bracket so that means we have to pop s and push these elements into the stack that is we are expanding s using this production whenever we are encountering an open open bracket that is the meaning of that so we are popping s from the stack because we are expanding that s so instead of s we are getting this production and this production we need to push in the reverse order such that this will be the front end of the stack the top of the stack so this we need to push in a reverse order so the first thing to be pushed is the closing bracket so here we have closing bracket then a and then the opening bracket because opening bracket is the first here so opening bracket has to be at the top of the stack that is why opening bracket is here and then here we have opening bracket and input is also an opening bracket that is that means the input is matching with the stack element whenever there is a match then we pop that elements so we pop this from the stack and also from the input so we are left with this and then again a on small a so we need to look look into the passing table capital a on small a meaning we have to push these elements instead of this now and that has to be done in the reverse order so s tends to a a now that this will be pushed in a reverse order so that small a will be at the top of the stack so a is pushed first and then small a is pushed 
so you now small a is at the top of the stack then a and a is matching so we again pop these elements and then we have a and a again as we have already seen a tends to small a capital a so that will be pushed into into the stack and again a and a is matching and now we have a on closing bracket now a on closing bracket we are having a tends to epsilon whenever we have su such a production a tends to epsilon that means we need to pop this element out of the stack because this is tend now this is to be replaced by the production a tends to epsilon meaning this a will be replaced by epsilon so here we will be left with only closing bracket so now we have closing bracket and closing bracket at the input so this will be again matched and these two will be popped from the stack and in input as well and now we will be left only with dollar and dollar meaning whenever we have dollar and dollar the parsing is suc successful and the input is accepted by the grammar assalamu alaikum